Hello. The question I'm going to um, answer today is, is it possible to fill a bottle, of water, a bottle with water by turning it upside down in a container of water? And the answer obviously is no, and the reason for that is that the bottle is filled with air and the air can't get out to let the water in, and the air of course being lighter than water, less dense than water, stays on the top. So if you want to fill the bottle with water, you have to turn it right side up, and then the air can come out and the water can go in, as you can see. But I'm going to show you that it is possible to actually fill a bottle with water by turning it upside down. I have here a bottle. Um, it's a closed bottle. It has a little bit of water in it. And let's see what happens if I turn it upside down and remove the rubber stopper. And you can see it filled very rapidly with water. And I'm going to explain how that happened. And uh, to show you how it happens, I'm going to take this original bottle, add 25 milliliters of water to it, and place it in a microwave for one minute. And during that time, the water in the bottle will rise in temperature until it reaches the boiling point. At that point, water will change the steam. The steam will expand and drive out all the air. I'm going to very quickly take the bottle out. One has to be very careful and I'll explain the care that's needed uh, after the presentation. I'm going to take that bottle. It's filled with steam. Turn it upside down in, in here. See what happens as the steam condenses back to liquid water. And that, of course, when the steam, which has a large volume, condenses back to liquid water, which has a smaller volume, uh, it will create a partial vacuum. And one has to be very careful in taking this out of the oven. So let me stop it now. It's one minute. Very carefully take it out of the oven and immerse it in the water. And you can see it rapidly fills up to the very top. And what happens here is the steam converts back to water. The steam that was created when I boiled it converts back to liquid water. Steam, the, 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 the entire bottle is filled with steam. All the air is driven out. And when I put it heads down in the water, it cools. The steam condenses back to liquid water, creates a vacuum, and uh, the air pressure pushes the water up into the uh, vacuum and it fills with water. So this is a, a, a demonstration that illustrates what happens when steam condenses back to liquid water and uh, how it creates a partial vacuum in a closed container. Now one has to be very careful in doing this. It should only be done by adults. Uh, boiling water, of course, is very hot. And steam is even more dangerous because when steam condenses, it releases a great deal of heat and could result in scalding. So this should only do be done with due care by a qualified adult. And gloves, rubber gloves, should certainly be used so that you don't burn your hands. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and you learned something from it. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time.